Hey, hey! So do you struggle with getting enough sleep at night or do you possibly even struggle with insomnia? I know that I did. I struggled for at least, um, well, 15 years or so, probably around that, um, with not being able to sleep well. Either it was insomnia or that I couldn't or that I just wouldn't fall asleep um, at night um, and stay asleep at night. So one or the other, I was struggling for quite some time. Hey, I am Coach Bev or Beverly Schlag from beverlyschlag.com and today I wanted to share with you guys a few tips on how you can naturally find better sleep, whether it be um, to beat insomnia or whether it be to um, to just, just get to sleep and stay asleep longer. Um, so today, a few of the tips that I have to share with you are um, just ones that you can do without anything else, pretty much. Like things that you can just do on your own without, um, without having to go out to a store or buy anything. So a couple of things are make your bedroom your bedroom. So what does that mean? That means that at night, or just in general, you should not have a computer in your room, you should not have television in your room, and you should limit electronics in your room. Um, that being mainly because those things add stress, whether you realize it or not, into your mind, into your body, and when you don't have them in there, your bedroom is like a haven. It's a place of peace. So you want to possibly get rid of those things. Um, at least eliminate the screen time right before you're going to bed at night. And of course, if at all possible, not working when you're in your bedroom. I know that's hard for some of us. Um, also, white noise. That's a big one because now, some people sleep really good in just absolute silence, right? While others struggle with that because they can't handle like the sound of somebody snoring or uh, possibly a faucet dripping or uh, a fan squeaking. And those things, those inconsistent sounds are very distracting and can cause you to not be able to sleep well. So when you have white noise, it gives you that consistent sound that your body can just kind of focus on and can drown out the inconsistent sounds. Also, regular exercise. Um, it's really not, it's, it's really kind of shocking how it does it, but basically you just have more energy throughout your day and you are able to fall asleep easier at night and you're able to sleep throughout the night because you're more tired. Um, also another thing is meditation. Do some meditation before you go to bed at night um, because this will help you, especially, I hate to say this, but ladies, we're, we're really bad about this, about our minds like racing through thoughts. I'm sure dudes do that too, but, but that said, you know, it's usually us women that will like just continually have our minds racing over everything that we need to do, everything that we need to do for the kids, everything, you know, we are got a million things going on. So if we meditate before we go to bed at night, that tends to help us to find a place where we can clear our mind at least for a little while. And then when we go to bed, we have an easier time, um, not having our mind race through all of those things because we found that that little piece of peace <laughs> from the meditation. Okay, now, so those are five of the things that I have actually written out and more information on them on my blog. And there's a couple other tips that I have found um, that will help you to be able to, to sleep better without having to go out and buy anything. Um, and then... I have also included six foods or herbs that you can also add in as a supplementation to help aid in sleep. Um, and of those six things, I'm going to go ahead and give you three right now. Uh, it's tart cherry juice, tart cherry juice, which I don't know if you've caught um, any of my previous blogs, but tart cherry juice came up already um, for 
other things. So it's kind of interesting how this is something that you can utilize in multiple places. Um, also bananas and chamomile tea. And along with those three things and three more, um, I will share with you exactly why those particular foods or herbs have shown to help aid in better sleep at night. Now, don't feel discouraged by not being able to sleep well at night. It is a very, very common thing, to be quite honest, um, in, our, in our day and age where we have a million things going on and we feel like we need to, we need to do so much. And um, for our work, for ourselves, for our children, um, we just have so much going on. Um, so it is, it's one of those things where you can't beat yourself up that you can't fall asleep at night because that's just one more thing that's gonna probably keep you up at night. <laughs> so you just need to move on and you need to find out what can work for you. Um, and those things, once you find them, you will find yourself being able to sleep better throughout the night. And hopefully, in the blog that I'm gonna post later on today, you can utilize some of the tips that I'm gonna share with you in there, along with the ones that I've already shared, and maybe even adding in some, some of the um, foods or herbs in order to help aid in that sleep process. That way you can find that groove because sleep is so crucial to your body, to your mind. You need it to be able to, to heal your body and to detox on a daily basis. So make sure that you are getting on average seven to nine hours of sleep at night. As I said, I know it's difficult. It is super, super difficult for me. I struggle with being able to do that. Um, yeah, see, Adrian says it, sleep is so, so important. Yes, it is. All right, guys. I really appreciate the time that you've spent hanging out with me today. And thanks for popping on and saying hi. And I look forward to chatting with you again soon. Also, if you have missed any of my previous blogs on natural remedies, feel free to pop over to beverlyschlag.com and catch the rest of them in my blog. And I will talk to you guys later. All right, have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye.